Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a file from Maya 2020 to Substance Painter. So Substance Painter is a very good software that is going to help you to make uh, texture painting directly on the 3D object. Okay, so we need to prepare the file and export it as FBX to be used in Substance Painter for painting. Okay, so I'm going to create a very simple cube. So let's go to create polygon primitives cube. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, right? And then next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bevel. So I'll select all these edges, shift, right click, and choose bevel edge. And there we have, I'll just reduce the fraction a little bit. Okay, and I'll add some segments here. Okay, now one important thing to keep in mind is you need to have proper UVs in order for this to work. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a simple object, so we don't have to worry about the UVs, but still I'll just show you how the UV looks. Select the object, go to Window, and Modeling Editors, and there you'll find UV Editor. Now, if you have older versions of Maya, you might find this in different places, so you need to hunt for it, okay? So now we have a perfect UV, so we don't have to worry about it right now, so I'll just close that for now. And I'm going to select the object. Now, before we export, I'm going to do a couple of things. Number one, I'll go to Edit, Delete by Type, and choose history so that clears off the history and we can also go to modify and choose freeze transformation so that freezes the transformation and if you want you can also give a name to the object okay so let's leave it as pcube1 I'll select the object and I'll go to file export selection and there we can actually choose FBX here okay so we're gonna export it as FBX file so I'm just having my default um, scene, so I'll just type here. Okay, let's click Export Selection. So we have exported the file, and I'll open up Substance Painter now. So once we have Substance Painter opened, let's go to File, choose New. So this opens up a new project, and we're not going to choose any templates for now. I'll go to Select. And this is where we need to pick the file that we have exported from Maya. So I'll click box.fbx, click open. And we can actually decide the resolution that we want. Now, this actually depends on the kind of computer that you have and the requirement that you have. Okay, so I'm going to choose 1K. If you want to have a higher resolution, then you'll have to choose the other options. But keep in mind that your computer's uh, GPU power needs to be really high in order to use for 2K or 4K. I'll go ahead and click OK for now. So as you can see, it loads up the UV here and the object shows here. Now, the, the way the viewport works is the same as in Maya. So all we can do is simply press Alt and right mouse button to zoom out. And you can see that the 3D object that we created from Maya shows up here. If I press Alt and use left mouse button, I can orbit the camera to see the object. I can also use the Alt and Middle Mouse button to pan around the viewport. And now this is a 3D object that is fully UV'd and we are ready to texture. So texturing is quite simple. We have the paint tool here and we can pick any material here and start painting directly on the object. So let's say I'm going to choose this um, skin and if I just paint, as you can see, it paints directly on the 3D object. And you will also see a visual feedback here in the UV, how that painting is affecting. You can adjust the size of the brush and all the other properties, and you can get really creative uh, to create the kind of result that you want. You can change the textures, and you can start painting directly on the object. Okay, we also have uh, textures that ha comes with a little bit of bump. So you can see that now when I paint on these, it really creates a nice little bump on the surface. So this is a quick video on showing you how to import a file from Maya to Substance Painter and start painting by yourself. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.